What's going on guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today I wanna to share with you exact updates about what I've discovered throughout the season change and of course throughout the past couple months of what I've been trying, what I've been going through. So without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, for those of you that are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and like because I'm trying to share as much as I can from my journey and if that helps you, that would be awesome. Uh, if you have th something that you've been working on, something that worked for you, make sure you comment that below as well so others can benefit from that and hopefully find a cure for themselves. So what I've analyzed, and this is something that probably a lot of you can relate, uh, during the colder times in the season, when the winter comes around, uh, psoriasis kind of gets worse and I've significantly noticed that happened this year. So there could be a combination of things, but throughout summer, everything was for the most part really uh, treated, very moderate, and I was pretty happy with it. I would say maybe 5% of my body was covered and I was okay with it. And then for those of you that know, I went to the hospital for an accident and they pumped a bunch of steroids for anti-inflammatory in me. And I actually posted about what the steroid name was uh, and that cleared me up fully. And I was like, oh wow, like maybe this is something to look into. I mean, if I have to take a steroid once in a while and it helps clear everything up, that'll be great. Then actually what happened is I, uh, the, the steroid effect went away, I guess, and my body pretty much went back into psoriasis mode. On top of all that, the season was changing, so it means uh, like a lot colder now, it's a lot more, I guess, dry air out, so it's a lot, the body's pretty much not liking it. And I wouldn't say my diet changed significantly in any way, uh, I still exercise every single day, so my routines are pretty much the same. The only thing that changed is the weather. And because I noticed that change in the weather, I noticed that my body uh, coming down from the steroid that they pumped into me, everything went back to how it was, if not worse, I would say. I would say at the moment I'm covered about 10 to 15%. And for the most part, it's mostly on my face and my head area. Everywhere else in my body is just little dots. You don't really see them, but I feel them. That it's not a smooth body anymore. Uh, and it kind of obviously bugs me, but it's not irritating me at all to, to how I guess some people have it really bugging them. So that's kind of where I'm at. And I realized that the only solution I really have at the moment is to get as much vitamin D as I can in me, uh, make sure the gut is feeling great and remove as much stress as I can. I, I am going through some stressful times with business, uh, with personal life but also the fact that the weather changed has affected it a lot. I would say the fact that I wasn't able to go in the water and enjoy the sun and the ocean uh, and like, you know, the stress relief aspect of it has definitely, definitely been a significant part. Uh, I would say that dieting, I, I never really uh, saw differences depending on what I ate. But one thing I do know is when I ate uh, more vegetables, like say greens, uh, if they're not organic, if they're not clean, then my face will go red. And right now, the redness that you might see from the camera, I've been ordering a lot of Uber Eats lately. And of course, the vegetables in there are probably not the most clean, organic, and so on. So that could be the reason why my face went red. It could be also just in general, uh, my body is saying, hey, psoriasis is not happy. This is happening because of the change of the weather. So that's kind of what I've discovered. And it's kind of a good pattern. Like before I used to know, yes, winter times, things get worse, but at least now I get this pattern of, okay, for sure, like as soon as the weather changes, it looks like it's a for sure thing. Cause I remember last winter, same thing happened. And good thing that I have this journey that I'm recording, uh, recording all the time, because now I can go back into like a year ago and see what was it like last year. And if you guys can actually literally see the progress throughout the channel when it was warmer, you see that my skin was a lot better and I was talking about how everything is perfect. When it's colder, you would see how I'm talking about diets and so on and how to fix the skin. And that's kind of a pattern I realized throughout this channel. So if that's something I figured out for myself, I'm sure there's a pattern that works for you in a certain, maybe similar or different way as well for you. Now, for those of you that are doing some sort of diets, I would like to hear, aside from like some weird stuff, like I have a lot of people commenting, about some weird like out of this country out of the world diets and i don't necessarily understand believe in them because yes it might work but the ingredients are hard to get it's hard to maintain that diet because it's so unfamiliar for us so if there is a diet that we are able to do on a regular basis and specifically for people in north america if there's a diet that we know it's easy to go to the grocery store and get those ingredients then let's talk about that because that's probably going to be a lot more helpful for those of us uh, living in North America. 
Um, until next time, guys, I'm going to share my next update. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next vlog.